the lights off, yeah. yeah. Hey, guess what? We heard your scream again. We are now ready for formal night. Last September, my family and I flew to Orlando, Florida, where our epic journey began as we cruised the Eastern Caribbean for seven amazing nights on board one of the biggest cruise ships in the world, the beautiful Harmony of the Seas. We had an absolutely wonderful time exploring the ship, seeing the ports of call, doing onboard activities, watching shows, eating, and making new friends. Hello everyone, my name is Michelle and I invite you to join me in reminiscing this amazing 7 night Eastern Caribbean cruise vacation that we had. An episode of this series will be uploaded to this channel every Thursday at 8pm Pacific Time. So if you don't want to miss anything, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll get an update as soon as I have uploaded a video. And that's all you have to do. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Good morning folks. Today is Tuesday, September 17th. It's day 3 and here's my mom. We are on our way to have some breakfast at the main dining hall. This is something new. We want to just try and see what they offer during breakfast. So that's what we're going to do. We started off our day at sea by having breakfast at the main dining hall. Here, you get two options for breakfast, the a la carte style or the buffet style. That morning, there was a bit of lineup for the a la carte breakfast. So we chose the buffet instead. They don't actually have as many options here compared to the buffet at the Windjammer Marketplace. But if you're wanting to have a peaceful breakfast where it's way less crowded, I highly recommend having breakfast at the main dining hall. After breakfast, we headed to the Aqua Theater for a short event and opportunity to say hi to the captain in person. Hideaway Heist is a new aqua diving show on board Harmony of the Seas. Having said that, the show had not been fully launched yet at the time of our cruise. But that day, we got lucky enough to see a short performance from them. Ladies and gentlemen, the master of the Harmony of the Seas, our captain, he Captain Johnny then went on to introducing himself to the guests. He spoke a little bit about himself and finished off by rewarding Royal Caribbean's Pinnacle Club members, guests who have cruised with them for at least 700 nights. How crazy and amazing at the same time. If I heard correctly, one of the Pinnacle Club members has been cruising with Royal Caribbean for more than 3,000 nights in total. Okay, so we are back here at the Windjammer Marketplace. It's time for lunch, early lunch. I'm actually not too, too hungry, but I feel like it's the best time to eat because it's not that crowded just yet.
currently in the room right now with my sister. I just needed to transfer all the video files to my computer to make room for some more video recording. My sister's just... <laughs> She's okay. My sister and I are gonna be planning to do the zip line a little bit later today and then I want to do the abyss. I want to try the abyss, the really huge slide, but do you want to do it, Likes? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe you should do it. Are you ready for the zip line? Yes. <laughs> you excited? Yes. I am too. There are so many things to do on board Harmony of the Seas, one of which is zip lining. If you're a little adventurous like me, you wouldn't want to miss the opportunity to be able to zip line while on a cruise ship. This zip line starts from deck 16 and stretches out to deck 15. The fun part of it is the view you'll get to see 9 decks below. The wide open space allows you to get a good view of the whole boardwalk. And without requiring an additional fee, I say this is something you must definitely do on board. I also got to try the Ultimate Abyss, currently named the tallest slide at sea. The Ultimate Abyss is a 216 foot long slide that runs from deck 16 all the way down to deck 6 where the boardwalk is located. Brave guests get to sit on a black mat designed to ease the glide. You get to slide down a dark tunnel that has flashing lights and loud startling sounds. The Ultimate Abyss has an average maximum speed of 14.5 km per hour. What? We heard your scream again. What's cool about this is that there are two slides. So if you're with a friend, you can definitely race down and slide to the finish line. This attraction also does not require an additional fee. So if you're brave enough, I suggest you take the plunge. Hey guys, so right now we're going back to our state room to prepare for formal night. Are you excited? Yes. <laughs> We are now ready for formal night. Hi! Typically, on a seven night cruise, guests are to experience two formal nights. They are usually scheduled on sea days. This was our first formal night. We got to glam up and pose in front of the camera for great souvenir pictures. I requested from a green man. and the waiter said, I'm sorry ma'am, but we ran out of mangoes. So I said, okay, that's fine. And then tonight, when we came back, he surprised us with my mangoes. Look at that, there's the mango. Time to party!
I think it's this is it for me. I'm done for the day. We're just gonna walk to our room and I'm gonna call it a day, freshen up, and then tomorrow we'll be waking up and we're in St. Thomas. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Watch out for next week's episode.